What it do, what it do. This your boy AJ of the Deep Thought. I'm back at it again, once again. Ha <laughs> ha, yes sir. Hey man, say man, I'm back at it again with a brand new video today. Yes sir, so today I want to talk about, it's a woman that went viral. You know what I'm saying? I want to say I don't. I want to say she went viral, probably maybe like a probably a couple weeks ago or something. She did an interview with Big Black of the Big Facts podcast, and she basically kind of exposed her husband, calling him a simp for even marrying her in the first place, and explained why he was a simp in their marriage. So to make a long story short, she basically admitted that she never loved the person she married. She was only with him because he was a simp and he was willing to take care of her and her three children. So we finna um check out this video. Um the video is being provided by the brother um Philip. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him and his YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? So we finna check this video out. Real quick, we ain't finna waste no time. We finna go on get into it. All you already know. Everything that I do is under the ad. Other fair use. So we finna go on check this video out. Let's get into it. And more women straight embarrassing y'all and calling y'all out for the simp behavior that y'all got going on. Case in point, I want you to listen to what this woman said about the husband that she had. Do a lot if we really feel it. It's the ones we don't like. We make them do it all. So you ain't like your husband? <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm talking about? I ain't trying to embarrass my husband even more on the internet, but... He was a simp, and I seen the opportunity, and I took it. Well, I'm saying what 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 his qualities was. I mean, for one, he accepted the fact that I have three kids. So you got three kids too. I have three children. And a nigga supposed to come with the bag. They supposed to come, and that's that's why you have to have a bag. Yeah. Like you got to take care so of me saying, and my kids. So, so. And you see what I'm saying? This is the type of attitude that a lot of these women have nowadays. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I blame a lot of this on a lot of these dudes. And I say that because a lot of these dudes who allow themselves to be put in that kind of situation with a hard-headed woman that never gave a damn about you as a man, she don't even respect you. The fact that you're willing to take care of another man's kids with a woman that ain't even yours is insane to me. But you went ahead and did that. Not only you do that, you jump over that shit and you put the ring on her finger. So now you're giving her access to everything you have. With children that ain't even yours. That shit crazy. But let's get back to the video. So, like, you automatically get these responsibilities? Yes. Stop playing. I'm not playing. And how many doing this? Uh, between two or three. I'm saying, how many have you ran into in life? This? Okay, so let's say I run into, let's say I run into 100 dudes. Probably about four of them. Yeah, they're about the odds. Mm -hmm, I fuck with that now. Probably about they're four about, of them. They're about the odds. All right, all right, mm -hmm, all right. Lie. Yeah, that's a, no, yeah. No, so so that kind of sound like you are delusional. You just catching it's just a sucker born every day. Basically, yeah, because you you know what I'm saying a nigga that's so you ain't never caught no nigga that's worth worth some doing that though. Am I kidding? I probably have one. See, the way this game work is, you have to get with a man who ain't used to dating back. Now you hear what qualified him to be a simp because it sounded like he didn't have any kids, and he came in there taking care of her kids, taking care of her. And she really didn't even feel him. or like him like that, but he was one that was going to take care of her. And, and, and in the end, she called him a simp. 
<laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, like, it, 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 this is the thing. Yeah, and let me say something to a lot of the, the ladies. <sighs> podcasts and things like that are going to make it real hard for y'all to date because you got women like that that show up on podcasts. Facts. And they talk like that. Facts. And the bad part is a lot of men who's listening probably dealt with someone like her. And just hearing that, it puts a bad taste in their mouth. Yep. And then how many dudes, this woman right now says that she got two or three dudes she's messing with and doing things for her. And it, it just, like I told y'all, the collective self-esteem of black men need to rise. Facts. And the only way self-esteem of men in general rise is based off his provision and his finance. Exactly. Every time I met a man, and I can even include myself, that his area of provision rise, his self-esteem also rise with that because our self-esteem is attached to our ability to provide and do well. Thanks. We talking about real men. Now you got some lazy bums that don't care about providing. Trust me, they good. But a man that don't have much, he's going to take things like that. Yep. If black men's collective self-esteem would rise, that, that woman right there wouldn't be talking. Exactly. And that's what a lot of women don't understand. That's, and this is why you have simp niggas out here, dudes with simp behavior. Because there's a lot of dudes that don't believe in themselves. Like I always say when I make these kinds of videos, I always say, man, the number one thing for anyone, whether if it's a man or a woman, love yourself before you love anyone else, man. Don't never put yourself in a situation where you with a person that don't love you, and then you start having them same thoughts where you don't even love your damn self. No, man, that's a situation you don't even want to be in because when you in that kind of situation, now you, you, you'll go for anything. You'll go for anything. And this is how a duo become a simp. You know what I'm saying? So I agree wholeheartedly, man. Shout out to the, shout out to the brother, Philip Scott, man, and his YouTube channel, you know, but yeah, man, a lot of dudes need to wake up, man. That's why it's a lot of dudes who are waking up going the other way they not even trying to be in a relationship no more these dudes just want to live their life because it's too much it's too much it's too much headache now it's too much headache a lot of women know of all communities that if i can't get a man i can get a black man and i don't have to be top tier or nothing i could be bottom of the barrel and still get a black man because yeah. black men have a low collective self-esteem about themselves and if any woman give them attention then they're going to jump. They're going to give all the money. They're going to do whatever because that goes back to black men's low collective self-esteem. Brothers, get your self-esteem up. Trust me, you, that kind of woman wouldn't even fool with you because you'll see her coming like, what you got going on? Nah, you, you, you go over there. I'm not giving you nothing. Thanks. But unfortunately, like she said, a lot of y'all are just simps and suckers. And she going to get y'all. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you have low collective self-esteem. Yep. And a lot of that's attached to you're not having your father in your life. Research shows that children that don't have a father deal with depression, yep. deal with mental health issues, yep. deal with behavior issues in school, yep. Yep. have a higher probability to go to prison. True. By just not having a father. And that is true. And that's another reason behind a lot of these young men coming up in the world they don't have no father or a father figure. All they got is their mama and them and they self. You know what I'm saying? They might have men around them in their family, but that don't mean they are good upstanding men. They probably weak minded as well. There's a lot of young brothers who come up in that same environment. I'm going to be honest. I was one of the lucky ones. I was one of the lucky niggas, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm not going to tell my business all on the internet, but I had things that happened to me, things I've been through, you dig, and shit. I was able to get through because I had mentors, people that was around me. And a lot of these young brothers, they just need mentors. They need people with a strong attitude that's going to show them the way rather than just getting caught up in the same mish that they father got caught up in or they brothers got caught up in. You know what I'm saying? Got to break that cycle, man, instead of constantly feeding into it. Let's get back to the video. So the black men who did have a father in their life 
a lot of times those black men aren't, aren't, aren't those kind of men because they dad, they dad gonna school them. And even you become a man, you still need to call your dad and ask some questions. Listen, grown as I am now, I still call my dad and ask him certain questions, you know, because he lived longer than me. He's seen some things I haven't seen yet. Right. So I can, I pick up the phone and say, hey, dad, let me ask you a question. Hey dad, this and that and the third, because I don't know everything. And my dad always set me straight. Now I'm not out there dating or nothing. No, I'm happily married, but there's some things in life I need to ask questions about. Even if you marry, you still need to ask questions to your dad about some things. My dad been married a lot longer than me, right? So, so, so pick up the phone, talk to your dad. If you got an uncle, you got a, a cousin that's that you could trust that, that, that it can give you some good game or whatever. Call them, bro. Cause just cause you didn't have a dad yeah. around doesn't mean you can't pick up the phone and exactly. talk to some men exactly. that get you straight. But, but to sit up there and let a woman like and marry a woman like that. And is she bold enough to talk about you? Yeah, that woman was low class. Cause, low cause class. let's say that everything she's saying is extremely accurate. Mm -hmm. Women that got some common sense, not going to get on the internet talking crap. They're going to keep their business to themselves. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, please fellas, Get your self-esteem up and deal with some women with some class. Cause y'all deal with these bottom of the barrel women. Yep. And that's why they go and run their mouth like Why is everyone spiraling over? Yep, man. For real. We ain't gotta watch no more. We can stop it right here. Yeah, man. Shout out to the brother Phyllis Scott. Shout out to Phyllis Scott and the Phyllis Scott show on the YouTube channel, man. I will leave the link down in the bottom of the description below. So, man, before I get up out this jump, man, let me say this here, man. Everything he said, 100% real and right. You feel me? Like, a lot of dudes need to start respecting themselves, man. They they messing with these slow women, or these, these slow-minded women that ain't really got nothing going for themselves. All they got is the big chest and the big butt. That's it. They don't have nothing else to offer. And because you ain't mess with nothing in a while, you want to lower your standards to mess with something that is nothing. And you start becoming a simp for these women. You know what I'm saying? That they going to have to stop. We got to respect ourselves more than that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just accepting anything, we got to start putting a cap on everything. You know what I'm saying? Start capping off what we going to do what we going to accept, what we ain't going to accept. You know what I'm saying? Just constantly messing with the same old, same old ain't working. So a lot of us men, a lot of men got to change, man. That's all I can say about that, man. So yeah, man, that's the video. I will see y'all in the next video, man. Like I shared before, shout out to the brother Philip Scott for the video. I will leave the links down in the bottom of the description below. Also, if you want to support the deep thought, if you want to support the page, all you got to do is to hit the like button and the subscribe button. You dig me? Peace and one love.